We're gonna try and get through 10 villages today. This is the fourth village of the first shipment. So we are in Tala. Following the many surprises that cropped up in the first week of our trip, I had all fingers crossed as I traveled with Tierno and Sega from Gauf Engineering to a hotel in Kaulak, which is around 130 miles southeast of Dakar and the nearest large town to these villages. The purpose of this trip was to do a site inspection of the first 10 villages where we will be installing our solar containers. Right behind me is the place between those, the fork in the road there, is where we're going to be putting one of our containers. So this is in Amjai Mbulup. We're in the second village of Ngoi. Got some fans here. <laughs> We're at Amdalai and Bulup. It's getting really hot though. It's like, oh man, I'm starting to melt. But hopefully this uh, shawl will keep the uh, sun off my uh, neck. Villages are chosen based on population size and distance from the Senegal electrical grid, where electrifying using off-grid systems like ours is cheaper than running electrical grid power lines to the villages. The first thing that I noticed is that it was mostly only women and children in these villages. For two thirds of the year, most men are away in larger towns and cities where they can find work, only returning to the village to grow crops during the June to September rainy season. So during this time, all the work around the village falls to the women, who undertake the heavy lifting with a smile on their faces. I went and visited these different villages just to find out more about the access, about the you know, the state of the soil, just in case we're going to have any problems because there's been reports of big issues with uh, big lorries getting through there because he's, a lot of the time the access to these are dirt roads of different kind of sizes and sometimes it's a kind of single track which is dug into the ground, sometimes it's a single track which is above the rest of the ground, other times you're kind of weaving through big trees and stuff to get there, so there's really a lot to think of from a how the lorry with a trailer attached to it is going to get through all these things. We started the third day of our trip dropping off Tierno for a meeting in Kafrin, while Sega and I continued on to visit the remaining three villages on our list. This time we didn't have a guide to direct us, so we would pick up locals on the side of the road going our way to help direct us to our destinations. The fewer villages on the day's itinerary did allow us more time to spend at each village, which we used to do some interviews with the village elder about their thoughts on the electricity that was due to be brought to their village. C'est le uh, Monsieur Dram, le chef du village de Kuringata. After these visits, we headed back to Kafrin to eat some jibby with the Gauf team before setting off back to Dakar. We passed a project sign on the side of the road and also gained a young fan club along the way. From my side, the, the best thing that, that I've experienced this, this trip was the journey to Kafrin together with the, some of the Gauf guys. Visit the villages to find out about the logistical side of getting these 20 foot containers out there and, and what the conditions are for the, on the roads and access ways to get in, people coming up to you and just asking them about what it meant to them that they were going to be getting electricity and, and what changes this would make, what benefits that they, they foresaw with this. Join us next time when we return to Fullendorf to spend time with the team responsible for the final testing and commissioning of our solar containers before they get packed up and shipped to Senegal.